Hello out there to you. In this problem, we've got kind of a mess of budget constraints and indifference curves. And these are called, these points here, these are called consumption bundles. We've got two products in this problem. We've got product Y and product X. That is very abstract. Um, I like the problems better that say a specific uh, product, but whatever. Um, okay, so a budget constraint is the... Uh, amount of each that I could afford given my budget. So, or, or in this case, they're calling budget income. So you might see that on a bunch of problems. I get that question sometimes. Uh, income equals budget in this type of problem. Um, this type of problem has a name in case you want to go looking for other things. This is called a utility maximization problem. It can also be called a consumer choice problem. And for you engineering guys, this is called a constrained, I guess, uh, calculus people too, optimization problem. They're all the same thing. So it's just different ways of looking at uh, or discussing sort of the same problem. So uh, we know that the income is $40. Uh, what we want to know is which of these points is the optimal choice. So there's a there's a rule here that um, you can follow. It's where the MRS equals the price ratio, so the price of X over the price of Y. Um, you can do that. You don't actually have to do that. A different way to do this without calculus or without all that mess is we're, we're looking for the point that's tangent the, along the budget line that's tangent to the furthest out indifference curve. That's what I'm looking for. So I already kind of like uh, this one. I want to make sure I can afford it. Um, that's the only indifference curve I actually see. So we'll see. And then by rule, uh, B is better than, than D because they're not on the same indifference curve. But A and C are all on the same indifference curve. So they're, they get the same level of happiness. In other words, I'm indifferent to all three of those points. So I really, that's, a, that's, that's what it's got to be, A, B, or C. So we just need to find which, which of these budget constraints are we on, and that'll, be, that'll give us the answer. So um, the, the point where the indifference curve starts has a formula. So it's the, the amount of the income, or I for whatever income, in this case, it's $40 uh, divided by the price. So for that point up there, we'll see if it is that one. Um, it's either it's either this one or this one. Uh, we, we know it's 40 over five. And then uh, the rest of the formula is going to be, gives us the, the number, the maximum number of, of Y. So we'll just call that like, max of good y so the most we could buy of good y would be eight units so that means i have to be up here on this indifference curve and then just to make sure um the price of x is 20 so let's do the same thing uh, price of x is 20 the budget is 40 um, what's the most we can afford we can afford two units so that would be this point right here it's the question we're asking ourselves and then and then i'm going to draw it like in eh, it's kind of thick scale it back a little bit okay so so that one is the red budget line we know that's the budget line when the consumer income is this and these are the prices so that particular answer would be a if you were given a different income or different prices it could be this indifference curve or this indifference curve you could figure that same thing out i'm trying to keep this video short uh, using that same process uh, but we're not going to in, in this particular video a tip though when you get a problem like this with a whole mess of in difference curves and budget constraints let's draw the, draw the relevant ones in different colors so like if that one is dark blue you know you could make this one uh red you can make that one green whatever you need to do um because then then it's not a mess of black lines it's a mess of different colored lines and the brain works in different colors so that's how to figure out what the optimal choice is one more time the answer to that one particular problem is a and that's how to figure out that problem